Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here again with some pre-recorded content as I am not at Titan right now. I'm actually at the National in Atlantic City. So excited and hopefully I'm having a great time as of course I record in this advance. Fingers crossed, everything goes well. But anyways, today I do have some more Pokemon openings for you all. Two of the newer Pokemon Go tins. I did not get the, the Blissey tin, I just, I didn't really like the, the promo. I do have the Snorlax and the Pink at you here because I really thought they were super cute. And then I'm a big fan. I did choose Cyndaquil for my starter in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So when I saw this Hisuian Typhlosion tin, I had to pick it up. So we do have Pokemon tin extravaganza here this afternoon. And I'm excited to see if I can pull any hits. I, of course, just got these three items here for the promos in particular. And it's fun to always check out packs. So I'm not sure what to expect. Fingers crossed, though, that we find something cool, something bonus, and something fun here on the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'll actually kick off with the Typhlosion tin. So let's jump on into it. It's by snapping us into the corner. And while I figure out how... Oh, that should be easy. But while I go ahead and take off the shrink wrap here, we'll go ahead and mention that I am participating in the Maxim 2022 Cover Girl Contest. So if you guys would like to help me be on the cover of Maxim Magazine, make sure you get in your free daily votes. Check out the pinned comments down below. Completely free to vote once every 24 hours. But anyways, Typhlosion here. And then here it is. Oh, the packs are at an interesting angle. But all right, I think I revealed the code, so I'll go ahead and share that for you all. I was hoping to keep the promo code, but it happens. I was distracted by the packs being packed out weirdly. Yeah, the tins are an interesting design. I'm used to the older tins, where it's more of a circular and the packs are just in the middle. Not sure why they're at an angle. There's a lot of space in here. Uh, they're probably supposed to be like that and they fell. That, that makes sense. All right, let me move our recycling behind me. So here is the Typhlosion. I think he looks really cool, especially when I'm running around in the game at night. Oh, he looks so good. I love my little Typhlosion. All right, so we have Singe in Petrifying Flame for the attacks. And then what's our assortment of packs? Well, we have Astral Radiance, Typhlosion pack of Astral Radiance. The one Astral, two Astral Radiance, a Brilliant Stars, and wow, two Evolving Skies. So pretty nice assortment here. Uh, I want to start off with the one Brilliant Star, see if I can find any Arceus cards. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. I'll give away all these codes because they're mine. I don't need them. I just wanted the promo codes. Oh well. So let's see. Here in Astral Radiance, so the Shinx is adorable. Love that Bidoof. Turtwig Reverse and Lapras Regular Rare. Congratulations to whoever is able to get these codes. These codes do give you one pack of the corresponding set in a Pokemon trading card game live, the online game. I'll open a pack in person. You get to open a pack online as well. One time use per code. So only one person able to snag that. All right, Astral Radiance here. Look at the Eevee. We do have a Hippopotas and a Hollow Rare Weirdeer. All right. So we do have a Hollow. All right, Astral Radiance, pack number two. We have Choi. Reverse and Reggie Ice Rare. All right. The 50 50 in the pull rights here for Astral Radiance. All right. On to the Evolving Skies. I have not opened up Evolving Skies since the product first released. This should be fun. Oh, look at the little Teddy Urso. That's adorable. We have Rogan Rolla and Stoutland Rare. Ice Q! Ice Q goes in his own pile. I love Ice Q. And Rayquaza Pack. It's more fun opening the packs when you don't see the code color. That looks risky! Mr. Slackoff, that looks uh, very risky. Pikachu, Nickit, Reverse, and Thievul, regular rare. A little evolutionary line there in the middle. 
All right, so that does it for the last of our regular assorted TCG packs. I'm thinking, I mean, I don't actually know. We can take a look at the back. Yep, four Pokemon Go packs inside here. So all the next few packs, all next, all the next few, all the packs coming up will be Pokemon Go. So no more Evolving Skies, no more Astral Radiance, no more Brilliant Stars, unfortunately. But hey, out of the five packs here, we did get one Hollow Rare. We did have the Weird Ear. So that's a nice little bonus to go on top of the Typhlosion. All right, and we got an Ice Cube, which I'm going to sleeve. I love him and his blockhead. Oh, I know just a regular uncommon, but sleeve it up the Ice Cube because Ice Cube is amazing. All right, I think next up we're going to go into the Pikachu tin. Very, very cute promo. Going for a little walk with Pikachu's trainer. Uh, absolutely adorable. I saw this tin. I was like, I need the Pikachu. Then the Snorlax, I was like, oh, I like the Snorlax, too. I did not like the Blissey promo. Did not pass the Alley Cute test. Just not for me. That's fine. So, don't have the full set. Don't have the full set. But I did get three out of the, uh, two of the three. All right. Interesting packaging here. All right. Oh, that's cool. There's like stickers. Oh, wait. There's another one? <gasps> Look how cute that is. <gasps> He's got a little package. Gift delivery. Oh, my goodness. Is this what? One additional foil card featuring Pikachu, Snorlax, or Blissey. Okay, 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 okay. So this was expected. I had no idea. I just bought this whole tin for this card. And he's delivering the gifts. I feel blessed. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> that passes the Alicute test. Alright, so then we have our little sticker sheet here. And we do have a QR code for something. I'm assuming Pokemon Go. Yep. Oh, if you guys want to use some codes in game, there you go. I don't play Pokemon Go. I do play Pikmin Bloom, though. Oh, there's the Pikachu codes. The, pick the codes are always face up. It's a little rude. All right. Four packs. So then this is the tin shape that I'm used to. I'm used to this being plastic on the inside. But I'm used to the tins being like this. I have so many tins like that. I have some like ancient Arceus tins and like Rayquaza tins and like I, I I'm a big tin fan. If I like the design of the tin, I buy the tin. <laughs> I'm very easy to please for Pokemon. Like this here, I'm like, that's a cool looking Pikachu, let alone the promo card. But just this, I'm like, sick. I'm a big fan of the tins. They're just fun. It's just a cool promo, a cool storage storage type. You can't put much in here, but you can put some stuff. Look and see, storage. And then, and then packs for fun. Sign me up. I love tins. Tins tins are my favorite thing, I'd say, to open. Because they're just, they're so affordable and just easy. You just be like, going to Target, you know, like, trying to buy, like, I don't know, toothpaste or something. You're like, that's a cool Snorlax. Let me just buy this. And it's like, oops, I spent money on Pokemon cards again. All right. Let's see what we can find. There's the Pikachu non-foil, of course, Squirtle, Badoof, Lure Module, and Lapras. Would be cool to find a Radiance Pokemon here. Or like a V or like a Full Art, something, something sweet. I'm excited for upcoming Trainer Gallery cards. Lost Origin, oh, there should be some really cool stuff. Slowpoke, and we do have Mewtwo V. Oh, Mewtwo looks cool. Mewtwo V. Give him a sleeve. That Chansey is adorable. The Spinarak is cute. Dove. Radiant Charizard! Oh wow! I was just saying it'd be really cool if we found a Radiance. Easy. Radiant Charizard and Blissey Hollow. That's what I'm talking about. Now me being me, you guys know me. I would I'd rather have the Radiant Venusaur, but you know what? I can't complain about a Charizard. I cannot complain about Zard. Radiant Charizard! That is so cool. Excited hearts. This Pokemon's attack costs one less, one colorless less for each prize card your opponent has taken. All right. 
I mean, that's a lot of damage. I mean, that's a lot of energy required, rather. But yeah, Radiant Charizard, heck yeah. That's some good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. There's still a pack left here and a whole nother tin. We have Zatu and Articuno. All right. I like my assortment of cards that I got here. This is fun. I got a Mewtwo and a Radiant Charizard out of one tin. Four packs. I mean, I was geeked up about these Pikachu promos. That's what I call a win. The extravaganza was the pulls we found along the way, apparently. Come on. Come on, Snorlax. I don't want to scratch the tin. There we go. Do, 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 do. Love this Snorlax just passed out. He's such a cute promo. I feel bad for the people that live in that house, though. That seems like it'd be annoying. All right, we got oh, another Pikachu. I mean, I love this Pikachu, but I thought it would match up. I thought we'd find the uh, second Snorlax. Well, that caught me off guard. Okay. All right, double Pikachu. More stickers. The Go advertisement. Here's the code card for the tin. It's our four packs. Recyclable. All right. So let me sleeve up our promos once again. That did catch me off guard. I thought we'd find Snorlax and Snorlax, but I guess it's random. I guess it's random. All right. So four packs. I wonder if we can find another Radiant Pokemon. We do have something here in this pack, though. Zatu and Conkelder V. Sleep up our Conkelder. Is it Conkelder or Conkelder? I don't actually know. I say, I think I alternate between which way I say it. Because I'm a professional. Eevee! We have Apom and Articuno, hollow. Charmander. Snorlax and Blissey, hollow. All right, final pack. Last pack magic. Can we get some last pack magic? We do have Nummel, Reverse, and Moltres. That is a hollow. I feel like Moltres's eye looks very big. It's cute, though. It's a cute one, but I feel like the proportions are not quite correct on this card. Moltres, hollow rare to end things off. All right, so we did get one hit inside this tin. We had the Conkelder V. I do think tin one blew it out of the water. Mewtwo and Zard. We were on a Mewtwo and Zard hunt earlier this week, if you guys missed it. I still have, because of course I recorded this early, so I still have the boxes back here. Let me just, let me just casually pick up. This box of base set. Easy. You're like, Allie, well, why are you just throwing that around? Because I can. Anyways. Let's go ahead and recap what we found here out of the Go Tins. Pikachu Tin 1. Pikachu Tin 1. I love the Pikachu promos. A little sad that I missed out on the second Snorlax promo. That Pikachu Tin led me to believe that we'd have Pikachu and Pikachu, Snorlax and Snorlax, Blissey and Blissey. But that was not the case. We did have two of the little gift Pikachus, though. I love him. He's so happy to go deliver the gift. <sighs> love that art on that Pikachu, especially in the foiling. And Snorlax just blocking access to someone's house. Ca classic Snorlax. Mewtwo V, Radiant Charizard, and Kinkelder V. So two Vs and a Radiant Charizard out of, out of the eight packs. And then I picked them all up and shoved them in the pile. I don't know why I did that for the rest of our hollow rares. Every pack has a hollow rare or something more rare than that. Did have Lapras, two Blissies, two Articunos, and a Moltres. With that, 
that wraps off this opening here. So I'm happy with these new additions to my collection. I didn't expect anything and we got a whole lot of stuff. So that was really neat. I still need to get myself a Radiant Venusaur. I don't know honestly what I like better though. The Pikachu or one of the other promos. I don't know. I really love these gift Pikachus. I know I, I was very disappointed when I pulled the second one, but I love this card. This is a great, adorable, cute, 10 out of 10 would recommend card. I just thought we were going to get whatever the other Snorlax art is. Now I feel the need to look it up online. I wonder what that art is. And then the Mewtwo looks really cool. Kinkelder is, you know, Kinkelder. We had the Weird Ear out of the other packs and Lice Q. So I'm very happy with what I got here. And I hope that you guys enjoyed checking out the packs along with me. So yeah, that wraps off our pre-recorded videos here on the channel. I hope to be back on Monday with some fresh content. If not, uh, Tuesday. We'll see. It depends on how I'm feeling because I'm coming back kind of late on Monday. So in theory, I have time to record something. But I don't know if I actually will. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Travel is... So, but yeah, with that, that wraps off this video here. So if you guys had a blast, which is always, I hope that you have fun. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. Have you pulled a Radiant Charizard? Let me know how your Pokemon Go openings have been going. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here for the week, actually, do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 11 Black Label fans. And then Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Fails Tales, Gable Yadaro, Kira Soltari, Mark Mardini, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gemmint fans. Bamboo, Geriatric Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Genev Zen, Touchdown on Paper, Unbreaded, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But man, lots of fun openings this week. Of course, that's what happens when I open stuff that I bought at Target to have fun, right? It's all stuff that I like. Well, that Topps video I got online. The uh, Topps Finest. But anyways, but yeah, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. I know nothing crazy. No Garbage Pail Kids this week. No Topps Finest for Star Wars. No Meta Zoom. I know, I missed out on some stuff while I'm at the National, but I hope that I'm having fun. And I hope that I'll have some really cool stories, hopefully some cool cards to show you guys when I return next week. But yeah, with that all being said, that wraps off this video here. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in the next one. Bye!